Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to see how to change the style of navbar or navigation bar on scroll. I am sure you might have seen many applications or websites having transparent navbar or navigation bar. As you scroll to the main content, you see the change in style of navbar so that we can see the nav links properly. So currently we are yet to implement that so we are not able to see the nav links properly right so i have created this application as part of our previous session lazy loading of images i have just added few navigation links and this image so here we have the our html page so where we have the header with the navigation links and then we have the section with the css class top section applied and we are showing this image this city night image now what we have to do as soon as this top section image goes out of the viewport we need to change the background color and text color of this navbar so let us see how we can do that so i have created a css class called on scroll if you add this class to the header it will change the background color and text color so let's add the class and see so class is equal to on scroll so save it there we go as soon as this top section with the image goes out of the viewport we are going to add this on scroll css class to the header so i am going to remove this so here we are going to use the intersection observer api that we have already discussed about if you are not aware of the intersection observer please refer this suggested video and also check the description for the link so now let's go to app.js and we are going to change the style of header so const header equal to document dot query selector and access this top section top section document dot query selector now let's create intersection observer so const now observer equal to new intersection observer and it takes two parameters a callback function and options so let's define the callback function and then options as object and again this callback function will take entries and observer right we need to observe this top section now observer dot observe is the method top section here entries is the array object since we are observing only one element we can just take the zeroth entry so const entry equal to entries of zero here goes the logic if not entry dot is intersecting which means whenever this top section with image is not part of the viewport then add the css class on scroll to the header right we have defined on scroll css class already so to add the css class we need to use the add method on class list object so header dot class list dot add on hyphen scroll let's go to our browser now let's scroll down now as soon as this top section goes out of the viewport there we go now we can see on scroll css class applied to the header and we can see all the navigation links properly right but now we have a issue if we just scroll up and bring back this uh, top section we don't see the transparent background again right so for that we have to handle the else part whenever this top section with image back in the viewport then we need to show the transparent navbar which means we need to remove the on scroll css class from the header so just take this and here instead of add just to remove just scroll down as soon as it goes out of the viewport we can see that on scroll css class applied and we can see all the navigation links properly and now just scroll up now now as soon as this image intersect the viewport we can see that on scroll css class has been removed from the class list of header and we can see the transparent navbar right so it works so it's really cool isn't it but here we can see that whenever this top section is leaving completely the viewport then only it is applying the 
on scroll css class right if we can change the background of this navbar whenever this top section is 50% out of the viewport then that will be very good right so for that what we can do we can use the threshold property in the option so here you can say threshold 0.5 now see whenever it goes 50% there we go now we can see that and whenever it comes back 50% then we can see that transparent background color is applied so threshold is very powerful property using which we can change when we want to execute our intersection observer callback function instead of having this callback function here we can just separate it out so just cut it const on scroll that's it now we can mention this on scroll here and the same way options also we can take out and we can define outside options equal to so this way our code is very clean instead of threshold you can use the root margin also so using the root margin you can define this distance in terms of pixels so remove this threshold and say root margin and it takes four values let's say minus 200 pixel 0 pixel 0 pixel and 0 pixel save it now just to refresh scroll down so now see it's good right now so instead of changing it whenever half of the way top section is out of the viewport now we can change it just before reaching this content where you have the light background and the same way as soon as the top section is back in the viewport we are changing the background of navbar we can make this code even shorter using toggle function so just say header dot class list dot toggle provide the class name on scroll not entry dot is intersecting so it removes the class whenever this value is false otherwise it adds it so just comment out this code let's go to the browser scroll down it works and scroll up it works just single line of code this way we can change the style of navbar on scroll if you like this video please hit the like button and also please subscribe to my channel i will be mentioning the source code in the description of the video